Good evening. <clears throat> my day job, um, I talk for a living. My hobby, I travel around the state and I talk to kids and talk about fate, fighting addiction through education. And I pride myself on never using notes. As you can see, I'm cheating tonight. Um, I'm actually uh, extremely nervous and I only have about a minute, so hopefully I won't screw this up too bad. I want to start out by thanking um, the Oklahoma Heritage Association and their incredibly hardworking staff, um, Millie, Shannon, Jenny, you guys are awesome and we thank you. I want to thank my uh, fellow inductees. It's really been neat getting to know them and um, I cannot express to you how humbled I am to be here and accept this award. I also want to start out and thank Brandon Whitten my speaking buddy, I take him with me on every speech. I'm going to do one at noon tomorrow. He'll be with me then, and I, I feel like he's with me now. I want to thank Rochelle, my wife. She did indeed save my life, and I'm very thankful for that and for the life that she gives me today. I want to thank my kids, my girls, Hannah and Chrissy, and my boys, Dylan and Jonathan, my granddaughter, Brooklyn, I want to thank the entire Newman family, which has adopted the Whitten family. I love you guys. My life has been like a snowball going downhill. I roll and pick up new friends every day, and I'm enriched by the friends and acquaintances that I make. And I'm truly a rich man by the friendship that I have. And I wish I could name them all, but I can't. So I'm going to start out and name just a few. Dr. John Randolph, who I used to play in my treehouse with, known him since the first grade, he's here tonight. Uh, John Hargrave, who introduced me, I've known him since high school. Um, I love you guys. Uh, David Boren got me a scholarship, otherwise I would have never gone to college. I thank you, President Boren. Um, mentors Jasmine and Melvin Moran, I love you guys. My special friend Michael Mares at Sam Noble, he lets me play paleontologist. Um, I thank you, Dr. Marez. The greatest lawyer that I've ever met in my life, Earl D. Mills, taught me you can practice law and win and be honest and have fun while you're doing it. I love you, Earl. Michael Burridge, uh, when he joined my law firm, the IQ of the firm tripled instantly. And, um, but Mike, nobody could be a better friend to me than you. I can't see you, but I know you're out here somewhere and I, I love you, Mike. Jimmy Priest, Noel Roberts, great friends. I love you guys. And I have to mention from Uganda, Sister Rosemary Narumbi, my sister from another mother. I never thought growing up in the Baptist Church in Seminole that I'd be best friends with a nun from Africa, but it's certainly true. And uh, I love you, Sister Rosemary. You should win the Nobel Peace Prize, and I'm making that one of my life's goals. Um, two more special friends. Paul Serino, the greatest paleontologist in the world, came here from Chicago, and um, I'm so happy that Paul is here. Um, I've seen incredible things with Paul. Uh, we got to ride over the, uh, the Andes in South America. I got to find a 240 million year old dinosaur with him. Last but not least, my friend Ricky Dunning. Ricky, thank you for not running over me on your motorcycle when I wrecked in front of you. That would have been bad. Um, I'm so blessed. There's so many more that I, I can't name, um, and my mission in life is to touch these young people's lives and teach them they can be anything they want to be, um, just like I had the chance to, to grow and prosper, and I believe that we're going to touch a lot of lives in the future. I'm honored to get this award tonight, and thank you all so much for coming. Good night.